challenges relating to open access cut right to the heart of many aspects of how institutional research is funded and structured. So the, the idea that we could make publications free, I think most of us would want that to happen. But the nature of the current reward system for academics is that they need to publish in high impact journals. That's still very much taken into account when they are evaluated personally. And therefore the newer journals, typically the open access journals, don't necessarily have the impact that a researcher is seeking when they publish. And therefore it's difficult to grow open access journals because people still want to publish under the old model. And it's very difficult to flip the existing models because there's a difference between the institutions that would pay for open access as an uh, author pays model and the institutions that would pay for access as a reader pays model. So there's lots of challenges around that that I don't know that we have made enough progress with in, during my career so far and it's one of those things that I hope by the time I retire in another 15 or 20 years we might have really tackled. UKSG is really well placed to help tackle that kind of problem because it brings together everybody on an equal footing and you can have open and frank conversations about the different perspectives that each organisation faces, the different challenges. We actually had an event called Open Access Realities a few years ago which was really focused on regardless of the rhetoric and the ideology here, actually what needs to happen to make a change like this uh, become a reality. And we're a good forum to have those discussions in because we're connected to all the right people and everybody can come to us feeling that the organisation's mind has not been made up and we're a neutral place for a discussion like that to take place because it is quite a political discussion, whereas UKSG is very much a practical problem-solving organisation rather than a political one. The move to open access has changed the professional librarianship once more. Before we would be collating and collecting information that had already been published and was available, we would purchase it. There was a supply chain from publisher to intermediary to library. Now librarians are involved at the beginning of the process of actually creating, doing the research, providing the information actually before it gets to publication. So we're supporting the full life cycle of research. The researcher deciding how to make their uh, information, their papers, their conference papers and their research papers available. And whether that should go through a traditional publisher, an open access publisher, perhaps be blogged even, rather than go through this long drawn out publication process. So it has changed the way that we approach the information life cycle entirely.